Fifteen years ago, the Raido region thrived in an era of prosperous peace. That is, until the Star Force incident. A nuclear blast emerged from the region's biggest energy source, the Star Force power plant, and the Raido region was swept into a new age. An age of nuclear fallout. Pokemon that stayed on the surface began to become affected by the nuclear radiation and were transformed into hollow, nuclear shells of their former selves. However, fortunately for human and Pokemon kind, many were able to flee underground, where new civilizations emerged, safe from the devastating nuclear fallout that lied above. Our story begins in one of these underground settlements, Orlon Town. Ah, <sighs> oh, do what? It's so early, man. Let me sleep. Huh? What are you on about? Wait, shoot! My meeting with the mayor! How long have I got? Five minutes? Are you for real? Ouch. Oh, sorry! Pix! Man! Why is it so hard for you to wake up on time? Jeez! Don't fret, Pixel. Now that you're both here, I unfortunately need to be the bearer of bad news. What is it? Orilon Town is, well, drastically low on resources. It won't be long before we need to place even strict rations on food and energy usage. What? Dang, I had no idea. I've kept it fairly secret to prevent widespread panic in the town, but I think we need to start scavenging for resources again, like we did in the early days. Scavenging? But we don't have any follow-up protection gear anymore. Yeah, Pix is right. If we went out in the open, we'd be completely exposed! I've received a telegram from Neo Futura City. They claim that the radiation in most of the Raido region has significantly dwindled down. Apparently, humans and Borot Pokemon can now venture into the outside world for a few hours without being affected. Why would Neo Futurist City be helping us? They only care about the people inside the city. Well, that is true. But I don't see why they would lie about something like this. Mr. Mayor, I'm in! I've been training with Duot for a while now. I think I can take on nuclear Pokemon. Me too! Corfish and I are more than ready! Brilliant! Focus on finding crops, tools, and nuclei that we can use to power the city. Sir, if we find any nuclei, can we keep some of them for ourselves? Huh? It's just, I've heard the rumors about the six radio stations. If you beat them all, apparently you can enter Neo Futura City! Ah, right. Well, those rumors are true. The radio stations exist. But they're incredibly hard to reach, let alone defeat. I know, but I think Corfish and I can do it. We'll go scavenging every day. Can I please keep, like, 20% of the nuclei I find, though? That seemed reasonable. You two can both keep some of the nuclei you find to pursue your own endeavors. Awesome! So, Pix, should we meet at the exit in five? Yeah, sounds good. Good luck, you two. Remember... If you encounter any atomic Pokemon, run. <laughs> Will do. Don't worry, I'll scavenge better than anyone you've ever seen, Mr. Mayor. Yo, Zoe! Pix! Dude! You owe me for almost crashing into me back then! Right, uh, about that actually. Kai and I just met with the mayor. He wants us to go scavenging for resources. What? Are you serious? It's not safe! I'm gonna have to speak with the mayor about this. Zoe, he says we're really low on resources. Have you known? <sighs> yeah, 
I've been having to stretch the nuclei we have pretty thin to keep everything in town running smoothly. Well, Kai and I can change that. According to a telegram from Neo Futura City, it's safe to go outside for a few hours at a time. They said that? Well, I guess there's no convincing you otherwise, huh? Nope. And there's definitely no convincing Kai. Alright, well, um, when you go out there, if you find anything related to StarCorp, could you bring it back for me? StarCorp? You mean the company behind the power plant incident? Yeah, you know, I know my parents are out there, Pixel, and I know that you want to know what happened to your dad. I try not to think about it much, but yeah, you're right. If I find anything, I'll let you know, alright? Awesome. Thanks, Pixel. Oh! By the way, Pixel. If you're going back out there, I want you to have this. A nuclear ball? But these are insanely hard to develop. Yeah, but I mean, it's not like I have any use for it down here, right? Zoe, thank you. Pixel! Pixel! Kai told me you guys were leaving! Alba, hey, yeah. We'll be back before you know it, though. I know, I know. But I want you guys to be super safe. So I'm gonna lend you the strongest Pokemon ever. Huh? Your Ponita? Yep. With Ponita by your side, you'll never lose. I'm super duper sure of it. But, Alba, I wouldn't want to risk your Ponita getting hurt. Hey! Are you saying that my Ponita isn't the strongest Pokemon ever? She got you on that one, Pix. <laughs> Alright. Alba... Thank you for trusting me with Ponita. I think getting some fresh air would do Ponita a ton of good. Well, uh, I guess the air isn't that fresh, but still, I even gave Ponita one of my scarves to make sure she doesn't get chilly. Thanks, Alba. You're awesome. Duh. Huh, <laughs> alright. See you guys soon. Bye, Pixel. I'll miss you. So, Pix, you ready? Yeah, so, Kai, what's the game plan when we're out there? I say we split up. We can cover more ground that way. But dude, it's dangerous out there. The whole world is dangerous. If we're really in any trouble, our handy radiation detectors will have our backs. I guess you're right. Let's do this. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful! Sunlight, actual sunlight, and trees! You know, I could get used to scavenging if we get to see all of this. Yeah, me too. Anyways, dude, I'm off! Huh? Let's spice things up a bit. Whoever gets the most nuclei today, wins! Kai, this isn't a game! It's really dangerous out here! That's lame! I say, the game is on! Kai seriously just ditched me? Ah, <sighs> I mean, I'm not usually the competition sort of person, but if Kai's gonna be so annoying about it, you know what, I'm taking him on. The most nuclei today wins. So the only way I can get nuclei is by defeating Beta Ray or Alpha Ray Pokemon. But they're super rare, especially Alpha Ray Pokemon or Atomic Pokemon. There's no way I could find any out in the open. But you know what? We'll go exploring. Uh, so, we've got the nuclear ball that Zoe gave us. We've got some bread. I mean, that's always handy. But we've only got three bread. I don't think that's going to last us that long. And our handy dandy wooden axe, which um, probably won't last that long either. In short, we are not doing too well, but I, I still can't believe how pretty it is out here. It's so different from in the vault. Speaking of, the vault door is closed now. That means my time is ticking. I've got five hours before the radiation starts affecting me. And my radiation detector should hopefully indicate when that's happening. Otherwise, that might be faulty too, and then I'd be in serious trouble. So, what's in these drawers? I feel as though, like, everything in the outside world now is going to be pretty bare bones. There's some crystals. I mean... That could have its uses. I don't really know what you can make from crystals. Maybe some crystal weaponry or armor? 
Oh, there's a first aid kit. Well, I guess I'll take that back. I'm kind of just grabbing whatever I can find, but nuclei are the real, the real power sources we need to run the town. What is this? Hello? It's a jerry can. Well, if I find any fuel, that could be useful. Hmm. Well, what else? Any, anything else over here? It's empty though, so it's not going to be too useful. Whoa! It's a loot! What's inside? Heal powder! Well, I mean, they're pretty bitter roots, so... Right! I totally did not focus on what was going on at all, and I haven't checked Ponita out. I mean, Alba gave us her signature Ponita, her favorite Ponita. It's a big deal! Ponita. Well, thank you for coming along on the journey. And you have the scarf that she said you had. Aw, oh, that's adorable. So, you're level 16. Can I ride on you? I totally can! Oh my goodness, that's gonna make exploring a lot easier, huh? Okay, so, what are your moves, Ponita? Tackle, Tail Whip, Ember, and Flame Wheel. You know what? I can work with that. And do what? I, knew I know your moves already. I know your moves quite well. Um, but Razor Shell's probably gonna be what we're sticking with the most. So anything, anything suspicious looking around here? Hmm. I find it interesting that our vault has this path leading to it. Have people been leaving the vault that I haven't known of? That's kind of suspicious. Let's see what's over here. This looks like the remains of some, some kind of like metallic building or construction site. Whoa! Some apricots. These are just dead bushes. I don't think that's going to be any use to us. Huh. I mean, black apricorns. I called them apricots. I am... I mean, you can't fault me. I've been underground for so long. Um, haven't seen any real apricots in a while. I, I think you can make nuclear balls with yellow and black apricorns combined with nuclei. Zoe was like talking about it once, but I wasn't really paying that much attention. There's some mushrooms here. Let's check this out. Death caps. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna leave you there, and I'm not gonna touch you. Um, me touching that was probably a bad idea in the first place. What's in this chest? Huh? Some fruit wood ladders. That could be useful. Whoa! What is that? Is that fulium? It kind of looks like it. I don't remember if I can touch it. I think it's just fuel. I don't think it's nuclear waste. But if it is nuclear waste, then. We've got to stay away from here. But wait, my radiation detector isn't going off. So, it's probably just green fuel. If I could get like a bucket or something, then maybe I could collect some of it. That could be useful. I mean, it's no nuclei, but fuel is fuel, right? Let's see. Um, okay. If I can get up around here. Wait, I can use the ladders I got. Can I not place them? Oh, I can't place it on there. Oh, that's tough. Okay. Um, what are my options? Hmm... Could I place- oh, well, that works. Um, <laughs> kind of? Yes, okay. Can I use the- the jerry can I collected to scoop it up? No, that's not how it works. Okay. Well, Zoe's probably gonna make fun of me when I <laughs> tell her about this. But, what can I do, man? What can I do? I'm just trying my best as a scavenger. I haven't seen Kai anywhere, though. He must be way ahead! I've got to catch up. What if you ran into a, a beta ray Pokemon already? Oh, I'm probably already behind. Okay, you know what? We'll leave it. But we will cut down these leaves by hand. Because more efficient. I've learned my lesson. Learned my due diligence. So, what's down here? Whoa! It's a secret item! Okay, that is awesome. A revival herb. That could be really useful. The thing with the Revival Herb and the Heal Powder though is that they're so bitter that Pokemon hate tasting them. So uh, Ponita and Duat, just know that if I give them to you, no hard feelings, alright? Oh, my stomach is starting to rumble. Don't worry about it, let's keep going. What is this? It looks like some kind of crash site of some- <gasps> A bucket! Yes! That's what I was looking for. So grab this boy and head back because you know you never know when you might need some fuel speaking of fuel what are those bumper cars excuse me can i can i use them i'm guessing they're out of fuel if people didn't nab them they are out of fuel but if i could fuel these guys up i'm not exactly sure how it works but i could fully bring them back i mean <laughs> bumper cars are better than nothing right 
And there's a hidden item here. A Rocky helmet! Whoa! I could give that to Ponyta, or I'll give it to Dua, actually. Cause I'm pretty sure with a Rocky helmet, if a Pokemon is dealt a physical move, it deals damage back. Like, it has this sort of, like, recoil type effect. I don't know. Could be pretty cool. But anyways, let's continue with the little plan. Grab our ladders and our handy bucket. These can go in our inventory, we don't need them for now. And ladder here, hop, and can I reach from here? I think so. Yes! Okay, we got a Fuelium bucket! Oh, I'm getting so hungry so quick, that's not good. Whoa, this is really cool. Alright, I dig this. Anything around here? No, not really. Oh! There's an item right there! Alright, let me grab that. That looks enticing. Alright, through here. Oh, can I make this jump? Um, will I get bonked? I won't get bonked. Alright, we're, we're good. Where was it again? It's right there. Oh, this is kind of tricky. I got it. Awesome. A rare candy! That's awesome! Who should I give it to? And there's another one down there. Well, alright. You don't have to tell me twice. I'm going right in. Let's grab it. Alright, here we are. Uh, this might be a bit of a fall. How am I gonna get back up though if I go down here? My ladder is, duh. Alright, hop down here, hop here, and let's grab it. A rare bone? That was not worth it. Red. That means that Gamma Pokemon are nearby. They won't drop Nuclei if I beat them, but it's still pretty good training for Dewat. Whoa! We're actually in a battle with the Gamma Ray Boldor! Okay, we can do this. So, I've never fought a Gamma Ray Pokemon before, but I don't think they have the nuclear typing. So, it should just be a normal Boldor, hopefully. That means that water should be super effective. Should I go for a Razor Shell? You might as well. Alright, do you want? Let's do this. Razor Shell, alright! And it, it decreased his defense. Perfect. Power Gem did a good chunk of our health though, but that's fine because we outspeed Boldor, so we should be able to finish him off. What I'm worried about though is that there were two Rog and Rollas, right? But maybe Ponita can take them? But Ponita's weak to rock. Okay. Do you want? Well, I guess we have no other choice. We're gonna go for that second Razor Shell. There you go. It missed? Oh no. He used Harden. That's fine, that's fine. Oh man, if, he's, if he'd used Power Gem... That could have been it for the battle, honestly. Alright, go for the Razor Shell, awesome! And that did a lot of damage. Iron Defense? This guy seriously has two moves to just increase his defense. That's a bit much. Alright, so Bulldor, if you're done with your defense increases, let's go for a Razor Shell and finish you off. Shut you down. So, Ragnarol is next. Should be fine with Duat. Do we want to give Ponita some experience though? You know what? I'm gonna bank on the fact that this Rogmola might not have a rock type move. It could be a bad decision, but Ponita, I want you to get some experience. Let's see what happens. Headbutt. Okay, not a rock type move, but it still did a decent chunk of damage. I just realized, what am I doing? I'm not in Orlon Town anymore. I don't have access to healers. Or maybe there could be a healer in the overworld. I I'll have to look, because I'll, I'll need to heal up anyways. You know what? Ponita, it's worth it. Alba told me you wanted some fresh air, so we're going for it. Flame wheel. Alright. That did nothing! I, I'm so silly. I'm actually so That was a crit? You know what? I'm rusty. That's what I blame it on. I'm really rusty. And oh my goodness, the, the rock and roll. He's like... Oh, I was, I was gonna say, I thought he was blending in with the glass there, but he's just behind it. Alright, that makes more sense. Well, Ponita, I'm really sorry about what I did there. I got really carried away, but it's fine. Duat gained a level. Alright, not too shabby, and we can just take this out with another Razor Shell. Okay, weak armor came in, but that's fine. The Rocky Helmet clutches us! Whoa, alright! So Razor Shell finishes it off. Awesome! We got three rare candies and a Heat Rock. Perfect! Alright, now we've just got to get out of here. So, you know what? Grabbing that weak bone was worth it, because we got some experience. Um, we might not have to use a ladder up, I'm thinking, because 
If we use a ladder, then we might not be able to get it back. Aha! See? You know what? Parkour can get you out of some tough spots. But we've got to find a healer somewhere. And I heard from previous scavengers that... Alright, this might sound a little silly, but... I think that healers are left around the place because they're too heavy for people to take back to their, to their areas. And sometimes they break if you try to remove them. So I'm hoping that it's like a building that used to be a Poké Center still has a healer. Because those healers are pretty sturdy. Oh, what is this? What? Is this what I think it is? No way. Vegemite? Are you serious? There's a chest full of Vegemite? I mean... I am running low on food. I will grab whatever I can take, honestly. Let's grab it all. All the Vegemite we can take. There we are. Seven Vegemite. You know you know what? That's not bad. Let's gobble that up and... Whoa! Hey, that actually isn't bad food. You know what? I wonder how many like food slots it actually fills. Interesting. Interesting. Good to know. Uh, well, I've got some bread and Vegemite now, so I'm perfectly fine. And you know what? Now that... Should I plant these oak saplings, or should I bring them back? I mean, we can plant some crops underground with artificial lighting, but planting full trees, I don't think that's gonna work. So let's just plant these. Let's join Team Trees and contribute to that initiative, you know what I mean? So here's the birch. There we are. So in, what, in another 15 years, they'll be fully bloomed? Probably not even. Well, you know what? You gotta start somewhere. Okay, what else can we check? This is the way we came. I'm, I'm still surprised I haven't seen Kai anywhere, but I've gotta find something that resembles a town, maybe? Oh, it's over there. Nothing much. Okay, alright. What if we head this way? Cross here by the bumper cars? Could be bad, could be good. I'm not entirely sure. Anything over here? What is that? That looks somewhat enticing. We could check it out. Huh. Hmm. Do I want to? I don't know. You know what? I think just in case we're ambushed by any Pokemon, let's try healing up first. So I'm a little bit worried. Um, can we find... Oh! Yes! This looks like a town. Okay. That's not bad. Um, what's going on around here? Let's go inside. Whoa, what is that? Is that a, a wisp? Or a soul of some kind? Could it be a legendary Pokemon? Well, I've got to check it out. Wait, what if it's like something radioactive? I should probably consider that, huh? Nah, nah, we're fine. Okay, you know what? We're going for it. Let's check this out. Young one, I have come to offer guidance. Huh? Uh, mister, I think you're facing the wrong way. Oh dear, my eyesight is not quite what it used to be. That's better. Wait, are you a ghost? Hmm, well, I'm not sure ghost is the right word, but I'm something, that's for sure. Anyways, what knowledge do you seek, young one? Well, I have so many questions. Like... What really happened at the Star Force nuclear plant? And is Team Hayes actually real? Oh, well, I wasn't quite prepared to answer those questions, but uh, know this. The natural cycle of this world has been broken. Danger awaits around every corner. Perhaps you should watch where you turn, young one. But that's super obvious. I knew all of that already. Oh. Well, I suppose I overestimated the value of this knowledge. Well, can you at least tell me who you are? Ah, yes. I am Sage Uda. I serve Yuxi, one of the Lake Guardians. Wait, Yuxi the legendary Pokemon? Indeed. The legendary Pokemon of the Rido region went into hiding when Celebi foretold of the nuclear incident. It is only now that they have started returning. So, where is Yuxi? I heard that Yuxi is the knowledge Pokemon. Maybe you could answer my questions. Right. I cannot tell you Yuxi's exact location, but I trust that you'll stumble upon it, eventually. By finding Raido's legendary Pokemon, you can unlock the truth. Seriously? Can't you at least give me a clue? 
Uh, sorry, that's all the time I have. Uh, remember to stay vigilant now. Until we meet again, young one. Man, what was that sage on about? Do you think he was actually serving Yuxi? That would be insane. But, I mean, I have other things to focus on. I've got to look for a healer. This looks semi-promising. <gasps> I mean, speak and you shall receive. Maybe the sage gave us a little blessing there. That's pretty awesome. Alright, we're healed up now. And what? 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 Who is that? No. There's no way. I... I heard rumors of this... This group of people who lived above ground called Team Haze, but that couldn't be them. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What if it's like Sage Uda where it's some kind of hallucination? Oh, no, 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 no. Was, was the Sage a hallucination? I really hope not. I I'm just not going to think about that right now. What I'll think about is the four rare candies we have. Because that's more important. Alright, do what? I'm gonna give you some levels. There you are. Let's see what you do. Fury Cutter, that's not bad. I'll take that. Um, instead of Water Sport, I guess? Okay. Uh, and then maybe Ponyta some levels? Let's get you to level 18. Alright, Stomp. That's pretty good, actually. There you are. We could check out that worn down area that I saw earlier that I was kind of wary about going into but i'm really intrigued about that that guy he had like a plague doctor mask could it actually be team haze i saw him walk this way but now he's he's gone oh my goodness we're actually fighting against a beta ray cradley if we beat this we would get our first nuclei ever and we'd have the heads up on kai i mean there's no way he's beaten a beta ray pokemon already right oh you are feisty looking okay wait let me think about this if cradley is beta ray it will have part nuclear typing and nuclear typing works pretty much the same way as the dragon type but then the question is, do we consider Cradley to be Rock Dragon or Grass Dragon? I don't know which type it would take. I mean, all we have to do to figure that out is go for a Razor Shell, I guess. Because we know... Okay, if Razor Shell is neutral and it's Rock Nuclear or Rock Dragon, we can consider it that way. If it's not very effective, it's Rock Grass. Okay, that's a good test, actually, because then with Ponyta, I can hopefully deal some more damage. Let's try it out. Razor Shell is neutral, so it's Rock Dragon. It has Absorb? Oh no. So, okay, I gotta think about a game plan here. We have a Revival Herb, which we'll probably need to use. Because we can't wipe out this Cradley in one go, and Ponyta isn't gonna be that great, because it's part Rock type. So what can we do? Can we... We have Tail Whip. We could try to lower its defenses. But then again, Razor Shell has that chance too. You know what? I'm gonna go for... Wait, does Ponyta have Tail Whip? I completely forgot. Uh... Oh no. You know what? We'll go for one Tail Whip. I think we need it. There we are. That's good. It has a... Oh, it's gonna keep using Absorb. It's so annoying. But that's why we need to keep using Tail Whip. Let's try using Razor Shell. Let's see how much it does. See, that's way better. Okay. Absorb. That's fine. We're gonna go for the Razor Shell. Not bad at all. Alright, do what you're doing damage. Absorb, that's fine. We'll go for a final razor shell and then swap into pony. Wait, it's a crit? No way! Wait, it wasn't even a crit. How did that work? Well, I mean, I'm not gonna question it. That was insane. Do what you were amazing. And we got four rare candies and a nuclei. No way! I did it! My very first nuclei! Oh, Kai is going to be so impressed when I see him. That's insane. Oh, Dua, you are amazing. We didn't even have to use the Revival Herb. How crazy is that? Alright, let's get healed up. And... 
let's level you guys up as well. Wow, I mean, I'm really impressed by both of you. This is awesome. All right, and Alba's gonna be impressed too because her Ponita is gonna come back and have gained a couple levels. Okay, do what? Let's get you to level 24, and then let's get should we get Ponita to level 20. I think that's a good balance. All right, there's Ponita, level 20. And actually, on that note, um, wait, should I close this door? No, we should leave this this like available for any any scavenger who passes by. I think closing it would be kind of mean. Um, are, do you think there's any items that we missed around? Oh, ho, ho, speak and you shall receive. It's another rare candy. There's no way. All right. Um, this one goes to, uh, you know what? Just because we're going to have to give Ponyta back at the end of the day, I think we should prioritize training Duat a little bit more. Anything of interest around here? Um... Doesn't seem to be. Oh, they're everywhere. A taffy? Is that edible? Um, I mean, you know what they say, taffies do last forever, but I don't know if that speaks to their quality or their sketchiness. That's it. Okay, I don't know exactly what this is, but wait, there's a lever here? That's kind of suspicious. Uh, let's not touch that for now. And, uh, <laughs> um,. Just investigate what's inside. Oh, wait a minute, I can't... Here it is, this must be the, the front. Whoa! Alright, this little non-functional lever over here. This is, I guess, the remains of some kind of sewer? Oh my goodness, this house is completely torn down. This is insane. Oh, there's some loot though. HP up! That's not bad at all. Alright, uh, do what? I'm gonna give you some extra. HP. There you are. One more HP. Not too shabby. Ah! Well, no, no, no. Patience is a virtue. We're going through. We're going through. It's okay. It's fun. I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying myself. Just chilling. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what's going on over here. This water could potentially be contagious in some way. So let's hop over here and... Oh, what is that? Huh? Spray can? What is that used for? What? What? Wait a minute. Starcorp? And... No way! These... These are the masks of the guy that I saw earlier! I swear I saw this exact, like, green and black pattern. And that's what the rumor said that Team Hayes' mask looked like. But why did they graffiti a Starcorp icon? They must have some, like, personal vendetta with Starcorp, huh? But... Does that mean that this is Team Hayes territory? Um, I'm gonna put this back. I have too many questions. Again? Oh no. Well, it looks like our troubles have just begun. Oh, it's a gamma ray swallot. You're huge. I mean, you're kind of cool looking, but at the same time, very scary. Okay. You're level 26, which is pretty impressive as well. What should we do? You'd just be a poison type, right? Because you're not a beta ray or an alpha ray, so you wouldn't gain the nuclear typing. Um, let's see. Okay, you know what? Let's just deal as much damage as we can with Duat. I won't try to decrease his defenses. Let's see what he does. Alright, Razor Shell, not bad. We did get a defense drop anyways. Toxic. That's not good. But wait, I have the, um, I have the heal powder. But should I, I'll use it when the toxic gets worse. For like one or two turns, the toxic won't do that much because it keeps stacking. So I think we should use it later on. Let's go for razor shell. He's protect. He's toxic stalling me. Whoa. Okay. This Swalla actually kind of has plays. I'm impressed. Let's go for the razor shell again though. We got the second defense drop. That's okay. Acid. Uh oh. Uh oh, that did a lot. Um, I think now would be a good time to use the heal powder. But then, yeah, let's do that. Okay, there we are. Did he use protect? He did, we called it! Dude, we totally read that. Oh, all right, not bad at all. So now I can go for the razor shell and finish him off. Not quite actually, that's fine. He toxic me again, he really wants the toxic plays. All right, razor shell. 
he's he's doing the whole protect stall. So annoying. But wait, if I if I take him out here, he's gonna KO me, isn't he? Does that mean I should go for Ponyta? You know what? Okay, do I um Duat might faint here, but we know where a healer is, so I feel more comfortable. 1 HP! Yo, Duat, you're a beast! Okay, so now the Gulpin's in, let's do a swap into Ponita. And, you know, Ponita hasn't gotten enough shine battling. Let's m let's change that. Okay, Flame Wheel. Nice! Alright, a solid damage. It poisoned us, but Poison Gas is better, because it's not a badly poisoned status so we can deal with it all right flame will again was that that was a crit awesome okay sludge that's fine ponita all you need to do is live this and you're good you did all right three rare candy sweet so um you know what let's go straight back to that healer we found we could catch a nuclear pokemon with this nuclear ball i haven't i hadn't thought about it but we should save it for a pokemon we really want and the thing is is that once we catch a nuclear Pokemon, we can't really use it safely, and it won't listen to us unless we were to purify it. Or, I mean, I heard rumors that Team Hayes were able to control nuclear Pokemon, but... I mean, before today I thought Team, fa Team Hayes was fake, but now I have so much evidence that proves that they aren't. You know what? We're gonna head back to the sewers, because that lever intrigued me. We'll check that out. Alright. Do what? Um, let's give you Water Pulse! Nice! That's not bad at all. Um, what should I get rid of? Will Tackle be that useful? Uh, it could be, but you know what? Because I want to keep Razor Shell because of the defense drop, but Water Pulse is good because it has that confusion potential. So, um, and then we'll get, we'll get Ponyta up to level 22. Flame Charge! That comes with a speed boost. Alright, let's get rid of Amber. Nice! You guys are awesome! Wow. Okay. Ooh! Oh! I thought we could jump through that little gap. That was kind of a fail. Let's see what adventure awaits us. Uh, you do not want to cross that, that water, do you, Ponita? Let's find a better way. Let's find a way that includes a bridge. Might be, might be more convenient, huh? Alright, um, what's through here? Uh, there it is. There is where we were just at, and that's where I saw the lever. Alright, Ponita. Oh my goodness, I feel as though the size distribution's a bit off here. Hopefully, I'm not too heavy for you, Ponita. Let's try opening that up and seeing what it does. Oh! Oh, any luck? Whoa! Wait a minute! That was a trap door! In hindsight, I should have noticed that, but... Whoa, a secret path! Okay. I feel as though Team Hayes is involved with this. They spray painted the wall over the StarCorp logo. They kind of declared that this is their zone. And this isn't that far from the town that we were at. You know what? We're going for it. Okay. Uh, wait. But if I go down here, I can't get back. I have enough ladders, actually. So I have a, a contingency. Alright. You know what? Whew. I've got to find the truth out. I told Zoe that I would investigate StarCorp, and if Team Hayes has anything to do with StarCorp, I've got to do it for Zoe. Alright, here goes nothing! Ooh! Whoa! It's like an underground tunnel sort of thing. Whoa! Interesting. What's over here? There's some water? A bucket? Is that... That's a deck of cards. Does that mean that... Was Team Hayes down here? Recently? I mean, I don't see any other reason why they'd have these torches everywhere. And I did see the... the torches... in the sewers as well. Okay. This is kind of suspicious. You know... Bah. You know what? Let's figure out what's up with these Team Haze grunts. Let's grab one of these. Sulfur torches. Interesting. Alright. Well, we're all healed up, right? Just in case there's any upcoming battles we need to face. Ooh, there's a ladder at the end of the hall, and I have a feeling that that's going to lead us right to Team Hayes. But if it's just one grunt, we should be fine. Like, I don't expect anything big. If it's anything big, we back out. Okay, let's see what's up. Let's go.
Well, what do we have here? You're Team Haze! You're actually real! You use nuclear Pokemon and live out here? Well, you hear that, guys? There are mutterings about us in the underground settlements. We're practically famous. This base, you're the reason this vault disappeared? Huh? What are you on about? It's right there. You should get your eyes checked, dude. Maybe living underground isn't so healthy after all. But you took it! Well, duh. We tend to take many things. Speaking of, let's have a look at those Pokemon of yours. Back off! I get it! A Ponita? Wow. You know, I'm a huge fan of fire types. Ponita, don't be scared. I won't let him hurt you. That Ponita of yours really intrigues me. But, I gotta say, I think it would have a much better time if it was mine. No way! You can't take Ponita! I don't need to take Ponita. After all, you're going to be the one who gives her to me. A wager token? You can't be serious! What was it Rido government said? Something along the lines of... Wager tokens are government sanctioned objects that initiate a wager match. In wager matches, the loser is legally obligated to forfeit one of their Pokémon. Yada, yada, yada. I know what a wager token is. Ah, so the underground folk do know some things after all. Ponita and Duat, let's beat this Team Hay scum. <laughs> scum? I like your moxie. Let's see how long it lasts. What? An atomic Charizard? How? Wouldn't you like to know? Battle begin! There's just... no way. This guy can't be serious. He... he initiated a wager match. I can't win. A level 35 Charizard? Okay. It's okay, we have our revival herb. We've got to use everything we have. We could be able to do this. Okay. If... If it's an atomic Charizard, then I'm guessing it would be fire nuclear type. So essentially fire dragon. That means that water will be neutral. But it's still we, the best we have. I'm thinking we could go for water pulse. Because then we could get a confusion off? Potentially? That could be our biggest advantage. Okay. Do what? Let's do this. Water pulse. He... He one-shot us with atomic pulse? Are you serious? Oh no. No, 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 Alba, I'm so s- no. I can't lose Ponita. No, 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 no. Uh, what do I do? Um, it, all I have, all I can do is revive. Do what? Uh, well, um, yeah, I'll use the revival herb. But, what's the point if Duos just me one shot again anyways? You can't be serious. This is the most unfair battle ever. They trapped me in here. That guy I saw. But after I talked to Sage Uda, he was just toying with me, trying to get me to come here. Jeez. Okay. Well. All I can do is revive Duot. I'm so sorry. Atomic Pulse again! No. No, 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 no. Um... There's no way, right? I'm gonna lose. You can't be serious, come on! This... This is so unfair. I can't believe it. I should've taken the mayor's advice. I should've never... meddled with these dangerous people. Why? It's not even my Pokémon that's being stolen. That's the worst part. Okay. Do what? All I can do is go for Water Pulse and hope he goes for something else. No. That's it. We... We lost! Ponita! No! How could I do this to Alba? Spare your pity for someone more caring. Now, hand over Ponita. I'll get Ponita back! You haven't won! Sure, kid. Grunts. Escort him out, would you?
Pixel? What happened?